The word of the day. I'm Shonda Thompson, and this is the word of the day. I want to encourage you today that even in the midst of your loss, God is there. God is here. And he saw this day. He saw this day. He saw this time. He saw this before it even happened. And I just want you to invite God in your situation, in your emo emotional distress. I want to tell you that it's okay to grieve. But the question is, how long do you plan to stay there? You can't stay there. Don't stay there. You go through it. It's just the going through. So as you walk out your process, go through it, but don't say. I want to tell you that God is close to the brokenhearted. So if you're feeling brokenhearted today, if you're feeling forsaken, if you're feeling like, what's the use? Why should I even wake up tomorrow? I want to tell you, we need you to come on through this. We need you to push past through, the, push past through this pain. I'm praying that God will heal you in a deeper place, in a deeper space of your mind, of your emotions, and that he will bring restoration. I pray that you will find your joy again, that he'll put the shine back in you, like he'll give you back your sparkle, he'll give you back your shine. I just pray, I pray for your faith right now, that you will be encouraged, that you will be encouraged to wake up to see another day. And you don't have to have all the answers, it's okay. Take as long as you need to take. Rest, rest in him, rest in his word. Rest assured that God is in control and God is going to get you through it. I don't care if you got to write yourself a letter. As a matter of fact, I want to challenge you to do something. You ready? I want to challenge you to get some note paper, like some, some paper. And every day I want you to write a letter to God. I want you to write a letter to God. You can find yourself a box. Okay, you can put it in a plastic bag. And it doesn't matter. You can say whatever you want to say. I want you to say whatever you want to say. Even if you're angry. Every day I want you to write a letter to God. Just letting him know how you feel. And that's as a prophetic act. That is your way of giving it to him. Releasing it unto him. Releasing your frustration. Releasing your fear. Releasing your anger. Releasing the questions that you have. Like, why did this happen? Why now? I want you to get, put, matter of fact, get a bag. Find, find the biggest bag you can find. And every day, you're going to write to the Father. You're going to write to the Father. And then you can revisit that. You can revisit those letters in 60 days, 90 days, 180 days. And you'll realize, you'll see that you're going to be in a different place. God's going to answer those questions. He's going to answer what's necessary. He's going to give you clarity in the midst of your storm. He's going to heal your broken heart. He's going to love on you. He's going to give you grace to see another day. All of this will be passed and gone. And I'm telling you, he's going to give you joy for tomorrow. Give him your ashes. Your ashes, your, your frustrations, your discouragement. And let him beautify you with his love. That's what he wants to do. That's what he's going to do. So take it one day at a time. Everything is going to be okay. You don't understand it now, but you'll understand it in the end. Because guess what? In the end, you win, my friend. In the end... It's going to be nothing but smiles. God got this. And beloved, he got you. So stay encouraged. Keep your head up so your crown won't fall.